thought. The next motion is whether or not to occupy. My name is Tom McGuire and I'm from Keene, New Hampshire. It's brand new. It just started this week here in Keene. I've been describing it as an economic civil rights movement. Uh, it's a leaderless movement, so it's what everybody wants to talk about, what the group agenda is. say that I think everybody knows deep down inside that we're getting screwed and these people are probably the vanguard the first wave of people who are waking up and taking the action to say enough no more so I think you may not support them now but if you think about it you probably do deep inside and wait until you're ready because I believe you're gonna get there. First thing I would do is turn off your TVs and throw them away. Second thing is get on the internet. Google's good, they censor some things, but just Google it. Google Occupy and then start from there. Start reading, start researching, learn, teach yourselves. Uh, Shauna, right now I'm from Keene. It's a lot more energetic than I thought it would be. I'm still optimistic because it hasn't been successfully co-opted by either the right or the left. I think it's pretty inevitable. I like that they're against murder and theft, really. Representative Steve Lindsay, I live up behind the courthouse near Central Square. And here today you get a lot of younger people, a lot more diverse people. But it is heartening to see uh, what we've worked for for years, some realization going out to the middle and lower class. Well, I'm here because I want some uh, economic justice. Basically, we're looking for reform in these systems. The great underground. <laughs> They're a culmination of everything I've been thinking of for the last 20 years. Keep it clean, keep it peaceful. It's a good thing. Yeah.